My dad taught me from a very early age. Be at one with the pig man, and he'll willingly give you his gold and rotten flesh with love. Today, on another episode of Decidedly Vanilla, we explore the lair of those nether beasties known as Netheratia Pigmanicus, or more commonly known as Zombie Pigmen. I'm your host, BJ Irwin, and welcome to the Season 4 Gold Farm known as the Gentle Squeeze of Pigman Love. Alright, I can't really go on with that. My apologies to all my uh, Australian friends, but uh, I, I feel like I had to start this episode with something a little more interesting, and uh, I've been working on the, this pig man zombie farm for a while, and I'm going a little bit crazy, so uh, yeah, whatever, I guess. Uh, but yeah, today let's, uh, we're going to finish off the gold XP farm here in the nether, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what I've been working on. Uh, I did actually time-lapse a good bit of this, but it was so kind of irregular in how I was able to build it because it's very large. And uh, I had to kind of check in on the design in my creative world to make sure everything was going right. So it just didn't, it wasn't very smooth. So we're going to go ahead and cut the time-lapse out of it. And uh, I'm just going to show you more or less the finished product. And this is the Il Mango uh, design. He has two designs. One is kind of the easy and one I think he called it the expert build. And the expert build was doable. It was just going to use a lot more resources and I didn't see the need for it to be that much more efficient. I mean, it was, it gave you a little bit more XP, but this one already gives you really as much XP as you can handle um, and is even faster than the Ender Ender. So there wasn't really much of a need to <laughs> make it even more expensive and difficult. So, um, I'm doing a couple things to finish off this, and then I have one more thing I need to do to actually make the farm complete. And then I want to show you one thing that uh, is in the Il Mango design, that if you download the world that he, he created for it, it has a, a little bit of a flaw in one little part of it. And it's really easy to fix, and if you know about it ahead of time, it's easy to avoid. And even if you've, you've already built it and you've had the same problem, then uh, it's pretty easy to fix. It just takes uh, a little bit of effort. But um, first thing I need to do is I need to go get some tags. I've got five of them, and Whip said that he has seven of them that he's willing to donate. And I need to put those on some pigment to finish out the farm. But before we do that, Whip said that he needs to fight a wither. He hasn't fought one yet, and he needs another star. So we're going to go join up with him, fight the wither, and then we'll come back and finish off the farm. Hey, guys, and welcome back. So I'm joined here by BJ, and we are going to be doing something really stupid here we came out to a remote island in the middle of nowhere we're gonna be killing a wither so you know you gotta kill the first one that thing today so i guess you good you good all good uh, i'm good to go and you, you, you gotta kill the first one right yeah we gotta do the first one legit i heard there was uh, somebody on the server who already who killed their first one in the top of the nether so uh weak weak sauce yeah weak yeah so uh you keeping that elytra on or are you uh uh, I yeah, am. I'm, noob I'm gonna, like me and going to the full diamond. I, I'm gonna fly around and do some killing if I can. Flying around. All right. I, I see. What, top Gun style. Top exactly. Gun style. <laughs> we need sausage over here for that one. Apparently. Uh, I'm Maverick. Right, you ready? Go for it. One, two, and three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. We... <laughs> ah, too bad. We're gone. <laughs> too bad. We got a blue one too. That's nice. All right. So let, let you shoot I haven't first. fought one of these things in months. So let's hope this goes well. And hopefully you get enough sand out of this. Oh, he's oh. just booking out of here. He's yeah, just no, come on. Where are you going, buddy? I already got oh, it. No. I already got the wither. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, oh, oh, yeah. I totally forgot how these things work. Oh, no. All right. Oh, crap. All right. Well, eating steak. Where are you? Oh, there you are. There's the wither. There so he is. Here. <laughs> He's there. just chasing you in the sky. So That's fine. Let's see if he wants to actually come down here or not. Oh, oh no. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I feel like I'm going to hit you with an arrow. No, don't worry about that. Maybe. I got good armor on. Let's try this whole aerial combat thing. <laughs> oh, oh, I totally forgot. I hit myself with my own flame arrow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't have to do that anymore. That was the old days. Oh, no. Where is it? There he is. I've got a couple shots in him. Try and get him with a sword. Oh, I almost got him. All right. There we go. Come on. Where is he? Oh, oh, I, oh, we're, this maybe, is a great idea. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we want him. We don't want him to go out that far out to sea. I don't think he might go over to sea. No, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta lure him back over to here. I'm not losing that nether star. Bring him oh, back over it. the island a little bit. I'm gonna play sniper here right. from the top. I don't even see him. Where'd he go? Oh no. He's, he's, I'm gonna kind of float down below him here and see if I can get him back over. Come on, buddy. All right. Come see, on. he's back on the. He's back. Oh, there is a skull flying at me. That's Come, uh, on, buddy. <laughs> Come on, buddy. 
Come on, buddy. Let's go back over here. Oh, he's, he's like wiggling his butt after you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, he got me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like I gotta get he out of here. Like I gotta get out of here a little bit. Get my health back. I got some sand, though. That's good. Yeah, I here? got seven for you. There you go. Nice. I'm trying to get Maybe some I'll, steak going. I'll hide cause... here on the island for a second and see if I can hit him a couple times. Oh, I got it. I got a, I got a solid hit on his head. He's regenerating, though. No, stop healing. Oh, crap. <laughs> can he actually heal? Yeah, he passively heals a little bit. Oh. Oh, geez, oh, you careful. I'm going to hit you. Oh, that was... <laughs> this is not working too well, man. This is Come not here, working buddy. too well. It's it's a oh. slow process. All right. There you I go. like he's, the he's flying on... style. <laughs> this makes it a lot more interesting. A lot more entertaining. Aerial wither combat. I like it. <laughs> Don't hit me. Oh, you... Oh, he's got the he's got the shield on. Doesn't that mean we got to hit him with the sword now? Oh, does he go down? Oh, nice. I think he goes down. Yeah, he should when he's... Yeah, he's there right now. He's regenerating though before he hits the ground. So, oh, and it's, I got a wither. Oh, oh, back off the ground! Come on, don't go down in the water. Yeah, he'll hit land. He'll hit land. We gotta hit him with the sword here, though. Yep. All right. Well, we we won the aerial phase. Get down. There we go. Dude. Yeah. All right, I'm coming now. Oh, he is. <laughs> oh, crap. Chest plate, please. Chest plate. Okay. My life was about to break. And I'm no! About to break. You get get out of there, get out of there. I can't even get away from him. I'm fine though in the water. You can't, you can't hit me here. We almost got him! We almost got him! I'm at three and a half hearts! Oh, no, die, die, die! No, die, die! I'm right, one and a half! Right behind you, right behind you, right behind you! Oh, ah! No! Oh, uh... no! <laughs> Oh no, the yeah. Do I, I've already got that. Okay. Make sure you get your stuff, stuff too. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting your stuff. <laughs> we forgot to <laughs> set spawn, didn't we? Yeah. Luckily, my uh, my inventory was empty, so. Yeah. All right. I'll be back over <laughs> in just okay. a sec. All right. We'll headed, back uh, headed back to Sea Haven. Headed back to Sea Haven. Got to give Whip his uh, stuff now. Where'd he go? Where are you, buddy? Oh, I'm up here. I'm right behind you. Oh, there you are. Okay. All right. I was. For the golden so, prize first. Not eventful end, but it yeah. worked out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very eventful end. There's the golden prize. Oh, thank you. Oh, right. yay! I oh. finally got a beacon. I was hoping it would give you a prize or uh, an award or what is that? Advent yeah, there's advent no achievement for it. Yeah, there should be. There's That's the, weird. It must be for killing it and picking it up off the kill or something. Uh, I don't know how many. So. It was, uh, I don't know. That, that's totally. Oh, fine. that's right. Because you had the uh, what do you call that? That two um, duration two. All right, yeah, I think that's everything. I kept your sand. Yep. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I guess you. I guess you can have the sand. All I right. Need to go well, back to sand. actually, this kind of works as a great place to end this episode off. I might have left you something here in the bow stuff. Oh, I don't know oh if good. You picked it up quite yet. I but... came over to get it. That's what uh, I, I left the XP farm to come and get it. And no, not yours. It's ah, yep, there yep, you go. There you go. All right, that with the five that I've already got, and now I can finish. The gold farm. So uh, awesome, cool. Well, I stopped by there earlier. I'll be stopping by later because I'm thinking, thinking this Nether Star would look great on top of a nice gold beacon. Wow, that's a, that's a good idea. Gold, gold beacon. Yeah, and so. I got. Uh, I think uh, between me, I took about ten minutes and did it, and then uh, Mythical did about ten minutes. I think I got two stacks of gold blocks out of it, so it's pretty fast. Ooh. So All right, well, I think we might have to hit that up later today. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, well, good man. Good luck finishing up that guy, and I'll probably be one of your first patrons over at the Gold Farm, man. Thank you for the <laughs> okay. help, though. Thank Absolutely. It was fun. Thanks, Whip. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Back at the gold farm, uh, Whip was here for a little while. He came up and um, AFK'd here for like 30 minutes or so and got enough gold to do three stacks of gold blocks so he could do his new beacon. And uh, so that, that's working pretty well. I think we could do it a little bit faster. And there's one more thing we have to do to have that work. And so I'll show you right now what we did. I don't need to do it because I've already done it. But uh, we had to make these uh, name tags. <laughs> you can see I call them all Zaloy's cousins because... Zloy is the only true zombie we have on the server, and uh, these are his, his uh, less intelligent cousins here in the nether, and uh, what we need to do, let me get through here, uh -huh. see if I've got one, did I do it over here? No, I did one, one over there, it must, it must be on this side. Um, one of the problems that Whip actually ran into while he was up here AFKing is that 
once you anger a pig man, of course, all the rest of them become angry within this radius. The problem is, is at some point, uh, if you're AF King, that anger can kind of roll off because of how quickly peop uh, the people, <laughs> uh, you know, zombies are people too, how quickly the zombies kind of cycle through the system. Occasionally, they might not get angry or they might lose that anger. And so uh, what you do is on each of those, th the four corners or four, I guess they're not really corners, edges, I don't know what you call um, these zombie pigmen who are named, as you can see, is Lois' cousin, uh, will kind of carry that anger over to new spawns as they come in. And it'll make it so that this is continuously working and shouldn't lose the anger. So what I need to do is push 11 more out. That's why I've got 11 more tags. I'm going to push 11 more of these guys out onto the glass pads and then uh, name them so they stay at all times. And uh, then the, the XP farm will be done, finito. I don't have to do any more in terms of making it functional and working. Uh, there's a lot of things I need to do aesthetically, probably. Oh, and I do want to point out really quick uh, the thing I mentioned earlier with the uh, the difference between this and Il Mango's farm. Before I, I take off for a second and name tag all my zombies is... He designed this so it's all glass up and down. In fact, let's get in here really quick so I can see it. Um, man, you gotta be kidding me. I can't get a simple... I, that was my last uh, interpearl, wasn't it? Oh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, But, so over here, the way that this farm works is through entity cramming. So there's 42 carts in here because we have our entity cramming set on the server to 42. <laughs> a little reference to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, and then below that is a block that has been pushed down into hopper mine carts. And so anything that... Uh, that drops in here in terms of the zombies. There's no room in here for entities, and so it kills the zombies. Their drops go into the minecart down below and into the hopper system, and we've set it up so that we actually have a sword smelter, or working on one, way down at the hub. Uh, and so all the swords are sent down below through a drop chute, and then they'll be smelted, but up here, uh, we're not gonna keep them around. So everything is put into the system, and one of the problems that El Mango's farm has is because it's all glass, and I've had this happen on villager farms too, where villagers kind of go through glass when you're changing from one um, chunk into another or loading and unloading chunks. It'll do some weird things with villagers and glass and entities and glass. And so what was happening is the carts were sort of transporting themselves through the glass and I was finding them kind of littered down below. And so what I did is I came through and I changed out all the glass blocks that were adjacent to these 42 carts so that they can't go through them anymore. And we've got solid blocks. I still have glass blocks under the anvils next to the block that's got the cart, uh, the hopper mine cart in it, and it's causing some problems. I do I have had a couple pop out, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. At some point, I might have to go back and convert the, the glass ones to something else. The only problem is, as soon as I remove that glass, I lose uh, all the the uh, anvils. All drop all the way down to. <laughs> the top of the nether down below and it's kind of a pain in the neck so um, I'm not gonna do that until I have to so but if you're building this from scratch just everything below the cart level just do it with solid blocks and you're gonna save yourself a lot of heartache so uh, I'm gonna hurry up and get all of our zombies onto their platforms and name tagged and then uh, maybe we'll run this for about 10 minutes and see what kind of gold we can get Yahoo all done. Now, for me to test this thing out properly, I think I need to uh, jump to my untimely death. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of... Uh, how many do I have here? 54 hearts. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that a 10-minute uh, minute session up there is going to give me all that back plus a little bit. So uh, let's go ahead and end it all. <gasps> oh, sweet world. I'm glad I built this new rail line from my uh, my new base to the train station. Considering I have nothing <laughs> and no food. Let's grab some food really quick. I'm going to leave everything else off just in case. Just food. And then let's see. Oh wait, actually I know I do need something to shoot the pigment to get started. So I will need my arrow and some a bow and my arrows. Let's get up here. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. We're gonna set the timer for 10 minutes and see how we do. All right, we didn't get very far into this and already I've got a problem. Um, as you can see, it pushed a bunch of them out through the back side. Why on earth did it do that? This is a problem I'm gonna have to fix. Let's do some quick investigation here. Cause I gotta figure out why, where are they coming out at? Let's see if I can get up here. 
So he's not on this side, but they pushed out one of the sides. There he is right there. And I don't have any... Oh, there's one down there. So we can get over there. Look at that. So he's like suspended in the glass. This is so weird. Or in the block. So here's what I think I need to do. And uh, it actually pushed a couple of them out. And so I ended up messing up my... The number of cards we have in here, and I don't know if it's just two or if it's more than that. It looked like it's probably two because I had two people or two of the pigmen in there um, that were surviving. I got one in there right now. It's like I got two. I think that's the one problem right now. And I, I think I have a solution for it. What I need to do is build up a second layer out here of blocks. And I'm just going to do it with. Uh, I could do it with glass or I could do it with, with stone. But I have to do that on all four sides. And I think while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and fix. The problem that I've got with the anvils next to that as well, because that's going to solve a bunch of other problems. So, ah, oh man, I was so close to having this thing done, but now I got to do some repair work already. Eesh. Now, if I were Mumbo Jumbo, and I had a spoon counter here on the server, I would be having to add like fifteen hundred spoons to my spoon counter right now because, uh, oh my gosh, it was an unmitigated disaster. Um, I came up here to clear a couple of things out and to get some work done, and um, I opened up a little bit and accidentally, uh, I thought the zombie pigmen were no longer angry at me, and one jumped in and killed me and then put on my hat, and I lost about half my gear and half the stuff that, that I actually had in my inventory while I was in here, and then I couldn't get back up here because he was angry and he wouldn't despawn, but he had my gear on, so he wouldn't despawn. And then whenever I came back up the the ramp and the, the, the ladder thing, he'd make everybody else mad again. And then they'd all come back in and kill me again. And eventually we finally got that worked out. And then after everything calmed down, I settled down, I started getting to work and I fell into the carts there. <laughs> and, um, like a complete, numbskull I, I hadn't disconnected the uh the hopper chain that takes everything and dumps it directly into lava down below and so when i died in there it sucked up all the gear that i had left plus some of the new gear i had created from the previous loss and i lost everything on me <laughs> including like a stack of anvils i don't know 15 carts uh, three, four, five stacks of, uh, glass, plus all my gear, and it was, it was just a disaster, so, um, I actually rage quit, that's the first time I've rage quit in quite some time, and then I came back and restored all my gear, repaired all of this, and got it restored back to exactly what I said I was going to do, in that, uh, we have double thick walls around everything now, I did do a quick test on it earlier, and we got 59 levels in five minutes, uh, and I was testing it because, uh, you know what? I'm not going to tell you that right now. We're working on a little secret with one of the new members that are going to be on DV soon. And uh, it's related to this. And we had to work on it a little bit. And we got some stuff figured out. Um, so I'll wait until another episode before I talk to you about it. But I think it's going to be cool. It'll, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. But now we need to test this proper like. We need to do a 10-minute test to see how many swords we get, how much gold we get, how much XP we get. So before I can do that, I need to go back and reset like I did last time. I guess to go kill myself so I can start fresh. Here we go. We go about five, four, three, two, and that's it. Woohoo! So 79, 79 XP in 10 minutes. All right, let's get down here and finish this guy off. All right, that is really loud. Let's give it a second for it to chillax. Turn off my timer and uh. Phew, that was a lot of noise. That was some serious noise. All right, and one of the things that I did is uh, I, I can't count the swords because they've all been, you heard that little clicking, uh, they've all been sent down into the lava, so uh, I can't count that, but 79 XP in 10 minutes. Let's see how we did. Not much on the way of gold ingots. We got some on both sides there. 
uh, quite a bit of that. This is where I stored my gear whilst we were doing this. And uh, it's hard to tell how much of the zombie flesh we got, because uh, those were already pretty full. But this is all the gold we got right there in 10 minutes. Let's see what this translates into. Shh. Shh, my little zombie pigman friends. Uh, I'll get turn that. Dink. There we go. Let's go gold ingots. We've already got gold. Oh, yeah, that's right. We want to do gold ingots. Do as many as we can. Pink, tink. I have to say, I love this crafting thing nowadays. Uh, gold blocks. So, 24 gold blocks and 4 ingots. You know, maybe not as much as I thought I was going to get out of it, but for 10 minutes, that's not too bad. Plus 79 XP. So, you know, you come in here for, I don't know, 50 minutes, 60 minutes or so, you'll get uh, many, many, many stacks of ingots or a few stacks of gold blocks, not too bad, and probably a few hundred XP. So, uh, all in all, this thing is working pretty solid. Uh, I'm going to check my time really quick, and if we have time, we have one little quick build I want to do back at the base. If we don't, then uh, we'll stop by the base, I'll talk about what that build's going to be, and then we'll finish it off next episode. So, we'll see you back in just a second. Yahoo! All right, here we are back at the base, the new base, still as yet unnamed base. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, I, I know in the last episode I said we were going to build this here on screen uh, this episode, but I ended up having to build it off camera. Part of the reason was well, for a lot of the same reasons that I had problems with the uh, XP gold farm. Uh, this is over the top of my storage room, and there's a lot of stuff that I had to kind of move around and finagle, and it just it didn't film very smoothly, so uh, I ended up not doing it. And then I got started on my pergola, which I what, what I wanted to do this episode is I wanted to get started, and then I wanted to build the rest of it with you, and which uh, we'll do next episode, because I wanted to show you kind of the thought process behind the construction of this, and then to finish it off. And then I also think we're going to get started on the mine next episode. That, that's a possibility. I'm not 100% sure just yet, but we will see. Ooh, let's see if I got some cocoa to harvest. Mmm, yummy cocoa. I think it's time to make some cookies. Let's go make some cookies. But whilst I'm making cookies, I think we're going to go ahead and call this episode for today. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to come by and watch this episode. And with all the recent changes to YouTube, I'm happy to say, well, maybe more disappointed to say, my channel has been completely demonetized, uh, which I suppose at the end of the day isn't that big of a deal because I had stopped monetizing my videos anyway, hoping that that would be better for all of you all who were watching and subscribing and liking. So, um, and the community, of course, is a lot more important than I think right now, whether or not this channel is monetized or not. Um, I think I'm more concerned about hitting the goals, like a thousand subs and things like that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'd very much appreciate that. And maybe, who knows, if you guys watch this video three or 400 times this year, from start to finish, maybe I'll get my minutes back. I don't know. Uh, anyway, y'all have a great night. I got to go through and plant some cocoa beans now, make some cookies, 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 cookies. cookies.